Funky Sands. I'm Professor TJ and my assistant Andy and Randy. And today we have an interesting experiment for you. Yay! Let me tell you something about this experiment. Slime is a thick and slippery liquid substance. It is normally made from non-toxic substances and is primarily green in color. Slime in a naturally occurring setting has many practical uses. For example, in algae, it is icky and sticky, yet an essential element of an ecosystem, and in mucus for respiratory health. There are so many ways to make slime. With this one, you won't need to go in search of crazy chemicals. You probably already have everything that you need in your home. Ready? Let's get started. For this experiment, you will need food color, corn flour, normal flour will not do the trick, two cups, spoon, water, and maybe a kitchen towel to clear up the mess. Remember to seek permission of an adult before doing this experiment. Andy! Yes! And Randy! Yes! Are you ready? Yes! Okay, so let's do this experiment. We're going to make slime. slime! Are you ready? Yes! Fantastic. So now, each one of you are going to get your hands messy. And I'm going to tell you what to do. So pour some water into this cup. Let's remove it out of the Pour water. That's enough. That's enough. Then take some food colour. Are so you finished mixing the food colour? Yes. yes. You're ready now to mix slime? Yes. Fantastic. So remove to, on, on your end of this and then we're going to use the plate. So bring the plate closer. Then take your flour and pour a little bit onto the plate. The beautiful slime in this experiment is known as a non-Newtonian fluid. Non-Newtonian fluids are fluids that do not follow Newton's law of viscosity. In non-Newtonian fluids, the viscosity of the fluid changes when it is under force or stress and therefore the fluid becomes more liquid or more solid. An example would be ketchup. When you shake a bottle of ketchup, the sauce becomes more fluid. Force applied to the ketchup changes the viscosity or flow of the fluid. This just means that in this experiment, the fluid changes from a liquid to a solid because of the pressure applied to it. I hope you at home were able to do this experiment like we were. This is all we have for you today. See you next time on Funky Science!